2023 Waterland tub update, medium land enclosure and a small water enclosure. These are merged together here with a tunnel uh, that you can see there. So this is the outdoor tank or enclosure for my three Chinese box turtles, coral flavor marginata, all females. You can see this is their enclosure here. I'm trying to make it as natural as possible. Uh, some natural ferns, moss, and so forth. Uh, they have a, and sticks. They have a water waiting area over there and see her going through there. That little passageway leads to the water enclosure, which is over here. So this is the small water, waterland tub. It's deep enough for them to swim in. Got a rock over here in the corner. And here she comes through this side. Uh, merged together, we have a chicken wire screen top. I also have a screen top for the water side. And uh, yeah, these girls will stay outside between end of May around Memorial Day uh, through pretty much like the end of September for the most part. So yeah, this is just a quick update on the tank. I have it out here in a garden bed in the backyard. As you can see, you can see my kids playing, giving them worms. Yeah, they love the I worms. Right there. Yeah, they yeah. love the worms. Yeah. Cat need that big worm. Cat. And Alpha, they're a little scared. Yeah. Because one of the girls are a little scared. Yeah. And this is their cave for if they want to hide. It's elevated and there's an area underneath it as well. But it's elevated in case it rains and stuff like that. There's drainage so they don't get soaked. And there she goes. Let's see if she goes into the water waiting area. And look down here real close. A bird just got a worm, a grub or worm or a caterpillar in the mouth. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is an update. I leave the tank uncovered out year long, uh, and that actually helps. That helps with the vegetation growth. I just cover out the water side. But yeah, this is it. Uh, they feed off of. Um, Mealworms, grasshoppers, crickets that I get as a uh, bearded dragon medley. Um, the kids love finding worms for them. And I also do reptilian pellets in the water as well. Um, and some fruit and veggies and stuff. So a good mixture of diet. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll update next year.